Now, we've talked about love, but I would define relationship this way. Relationship is, is putting content to this commitment to love. Let me say that again. Relationship is putting content to this commitment to love. You have, by this time hopefully, convinced that child that they are loved, but you now have an opportunity to deepen the bonds of love. And I want to give you three words that I think will help as we talk about putting content to love. Here's the first word, interest, interest, presence, and community. Interest, presence, and community. Now, I, I hear people all the time say how hard it is for them to read through Leviticus. It's just all those weird laws, and it just gets so boring. I have the exact opposite when I read Leviticus. I think, how could it be possible that this God would love me this much that he would care about every single little detail in my life? The details in Leviticus are a sure sign of how deep and individual and personal God's love is. God God cares about every financial transaction you make. If you're a woman, he cares about your cycle. He does. If you... If you read through Leviticus, you're blown away. You can't, you can't think of anything that's normal in a human life that God doesn't care about and hasn't spoken to. How great is his love? Do that with your kids. Care about the details of their lives. Get down on the floor with them and ask them why this particular thing, why do they like the little LOL character so much? If you don't know what that is, you don't have young children right now or you're not a grandparent. Uh, why? Talk to them. Care about the little details. Listen, all they have is little details. And if you don't care about them, the message is, yeah, you say you love me, but you don't care about my world at all. In fact, my world is just a world that, gets, that causes you to step on things you don't want to step on and messes up the living room. It is really true that even committed parents show the most interest in what interests children when those interests irritate them. Care about those things. Begin to ask yourself, how is this child gifted? Are they mechanical? Are they musical? Are they artistic? How can I buy into that? How can I do that with them? How can I support the development of, of those interests and those gifts? Sit with your child on the couch and watch things that you would never watch and that interest you not at all. Be interested. How lovely and security given it it is for a child to wake up in the morning and in their brain is everything in my life is important to my mom and dad. 